Hello everyone, welcome back to the asynchronous programming in .NET. In this video, we will discuss about like how we can create a continuation for multiple antecedents in C -sharp. In the previous video, where we created only single antecedent and according to that, we use the continue with and we printed the output. In this video, we will create the multiple continue with method and we'll see like how it works so let's go to the visual studio and this is the previous example where we we use this antecedent here using the continue with method so now if you want to like currently what we are doing basically here we are have taken only single antecedent if you want to use the multiple that also we can do means like this is the one operation you have completed and after that you are appending something now even after with also you want to do then you can do the same here like so here you you have to take this object so you can take like this and using the lambda expression what you have to do you have to use the so first let's put one bracket here so now here you have to return according to that one so if here i will return return so the new result is and here you can say so let's take this here dot result so now at point of this time you will run then let's see what output we get and we get the new result is and the result is means it is appending this so first of all it is written uh, appending this 15 and then it is returning this one here the result is so this info result is basically from the here from this task now this task is appending to this task so this is the way con multiple continuation with works like in our application if we want to use multiple ntc Incident, we can use it now basically we have attached to this one here now what if we want to uh, like uh, create a another uh, antecedent so in that case like what you have to use so task one dot continue with and here let's take as a details and here basically now what we have to write we have to write the console dot write line so new continue with method so at point of this time when you will run this application so you will see that is coming here like new continue with method it is not appending to this one and the reason is because we are not attached with this task we like this task like it is coming with this one and now separately we have written it so since we are writing it from here that's why it is returning to the new result so when again you will run this application and you will see so now you can see like uh, this main method is completed before this uh, the task uh, complete so for this one we know we can use this task dot delay and here let's take a pause for one second and then wait so if we use this one we will see the output like it will come after that like this main method okay let's take it here so let's rerun it again i think it didn't accept the changes and we can see our main method is completing after the all the task completes let's rerun it again and we can see our main method is completing with that because we have used the wait method here so this is the way we can use the multiple continue with method with our task and as per our requirement we can implement same into our application so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you